Yeah. What's Arizona backwards? I feel like it's still Arizona. Um, Arizona and no, and no, zero, and a zero, and a zero. And a zero. And a zero coming soon. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pop Dose Presents. Today, we have the band Arizona. Hey. What's going on? What How's it going? Glad to have you guys. This is an exciting day for you because it's actually the eve of your album release. Yes. The full yes, LP, is. Asylum. It's just weird, right? Like normal life is happening, but it's like this album that's taken us two years is coming out in a couple hours. So we're just like, that's okay. amazing. So two years in the making, kind of. Yeah. yeah. We like finished Gallery, and then we like we went on the road a lot. So it took us a little while to get like into the groove because we collectively have probably made maybe like thirty songs, yeah. right? Um, to a degree, but then you have to find time to hone in and finish a certain amount of them that are, you know, where yeah. you want them to be. And yeah, it took a little while balancing the road. It was a big learning curve. It was like our first album just kind of happened. Gallery just sort of happened. And then it was like, okay, now you're going to do tours and a bunch of other stuff and then make an album at the same time. So. And you were touring with Panic at the Disco, right? Yeah, we went on two separate tours with them. We did their North wow. America tour and then we did their European tour. And then we recently got off a headline. Um, it's just, yeah, back to back, pretty pretty wild. That's but, amazing. Uh, what were some of the takeaways from that experience? It's got to be wild. They made me want to fly on a piano, because that's what that's what he does. He piano floats on strings. They're not strings. I'm sure they're <laughs> extremely durable, some sort of steel wires. Yeah, but you, you who do you have to a... call to make that happen? Probably Panic at the Disco. I assume. Okay. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know, Nate, what would you say your craziest takeaway from that tour was? I think for me, just seeing like how far Panic has come and like mm. seeing like all like the work they've put in the success they've had. Because I've been a fan of Panic since like 05. Like, yeah. I saw them as like openers on their first tour ever. And I remember like when I first met uh, Brendan, I went up to him, I was like, yo, dude, like it's really crazy for me because like I saw you guys like open for like, I remember like 500 people back in the day. And he was like, whoa, that was like our first tour. That's so awesome. It's like, yeah, so it was really cool to connect them on that and like be a part of like their first like arena run. And when you guys were on tour, were you also writing at the same time and kind of like locking down ideas, or were those like separate processes? It was a big year or two of just touring, and so I mean, Dave is the one that's most wrapped up in it because he does all the production and designs, all the show stuff and whatnot. So like, it was a lot, but um. It was just slowly. So yes, kind of, but just slowly and in small increments, yeah. you know? But yeah. And are fans kind of giving you like real time feedback as to like what songs they really gravitate towards or every show. Yeah. Every night. I mean you can just feel it, you know, it's like sometimes the room gets huge. Um, it's always high energy. Luckily for us, it's like we have a great community. So like the um, the fans are always pretty wild, but like certain songs get really, really big in the room. Um and sometimes they're they're not necessarily super surprising per se, you know, because they're like these are our favorite jams, and then they they react. But then there are also some that there are certain moments or certain songs that just consistently people really show up for, you know. And, are there any um, big surprises for you? Like, wow, I didn't realize that song was gonna hit like that. Or yes, where I want to be is a is an old song of ours that was um, was that on gallery. Yeah. So that was before we even started Gallery. We released a few songs here and there. Um, and so Where I Want to Be is a song that made it to Gallery, but it was just uh, one of our early sort of messing around, kind of dancey records. We don't play it that much because it's so repetitive and so loopy that we yeah. found, and we had, you know, make room in the set for other stuff, and we had more dynamic songs to go out there and perform as a band Yeah, um, that we don't get to play that one particularly, but everyone is always like, yo, play this song. Why don't you play this song? Why play where, where I Want to Be? And we're just like, well... <laughs> Uh, what? Like, we have to find a cooler way to play it as a band first. But like, yeah, that's that's a weird one, you know. You ever want to take on like a like an alias or like another an, another identity and like release songs like on the low on like SoundCloud or something? Yo, we we thought about doing that with like house music. So yeah. at, so at these release parties tonight and tomorrow, um, I think. Tomorrow we might be doing like a little acoustic thing or something or whatever it is But the big thing that we're doing tonight is just playing the album for people and then hosting an event um, And we're DJing so we 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 like 
have a lot of fun like DJing and spinning stuff or whatever. And so Dave's gonna be tearing it up on on some on some decks tonight. And like we always think about like let's do our own remixes and make like an alternate Arizona project and call yeah. it like New Mexico that's and just like say. release all like dope house tracks and stuff. So that, that's what, that's what, an idea. What's Arizona backwards? I feel like it's still Arizona. I'm not sure. Yo, why. you you know what? You're not wrong for like, thinking that off the top of your head because it feels like it would be. I'm pretty sure it's, n- it's not, not a palindrome, but it's probably close enough. Um, Arizona and no and no zira and a zira and a zira. And Azira. And Azira coming soon. Let's go. Let's go, <laughs> with dog. Deep EDM house the band, yes. not the state, doesn't work there. Sorry, that's not a state. Uh, yeah, but... So, I, to, so tonight you guys are DJing at your own party? Yeah, I think that's the fun part of it. Is like Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I was like, they're making you DJ at your own party? Like, nah, dog. It's like, <laughs> like, we're catering... We got we, the whole thing. No, like, bro. Dave we like, would too, though. Yeah, we would. Yeah, yeah, like, we would. yeah, we'd be in the kitchen whipping stuff up, and Dave would be prepping mixes and stuff. Yeah, man. It's a. Uh, we did some uh, Airbnb concerts um, this this past year or two, whatever. Just mm-hmm. like small little get together pop up shows. How does that affect your Airbnb rating? That's a good question. If you trash it with a I, show, I, I don't. I don't know. Is um, that how it works? I've never been to an Airbnb. No, show. they're basically just like cool. It's like um, they're like small intimate shows. Yeah, and like. Alternative venues, if you will. Yeah, so like, cool. we should do like Uber shows where we just get in the Uber and stuff. Yo, and just start I mean, playing. honestly, man, like that's the type of stuff that I feel like we've had the most fun with is because, like, let's just create an environment on a more frequent scale than you can do a huge production like a tour and just have these moments where like people can come hang with you and see you. So. And you guys are from Jersey. Where are you based now? So, so Jersey, okay. Jersey, Jersey. Um, Nate, you moved to LA yeah. a year ago now, right? A little over a year. A little oh over a year God. ago. How are you guys doing bi coastal? Our Dave. lives are basically bi coastal. But Dave also is like, so you know Q from James Bond, like the dude who's like, here, James Bond, take this watch. It also has a laser and caltrops and like, yeah, you know I mean, um, <laughs> that's Dave. So we have like cloned. Computers. And oh, they, like, they talk to each other. So like, if we close a session, they can open it in LA. Oh, that's awesome! Like, yeah. it's pretty slick. Before we run out of time, tell us about the album. Where the name come from? What should people expect? The sound? Where to find it? We didn't have a name until after most of the songs were completed. Um, but I think for us, Asylum is a word that has. Well, I thought of it because of uh, immigration. Right, like not to get too heavy, but um, and then I thought about the word asylum itself, and um, you think of like an insane asylum, you think of um, political asylum, like having a safe space, and with that sort of double entendre, it's kind of like where our heads were at, where we were like, oh my gosh, it's two years, we're making all these records, we're trying to learn how to go through that process, and we felt like we were going insane. (laughs) And also, at the same time, we needed a safe place to go to um, as each other. Like, as friends, we kind of created our own sort of asylum within each other because we realized that the pressure of trying to finish this album was getting to, to like, to our core. The single for the album right now, Problems, is, is a good sort of example. I suppose, of what a lot of the songs feel like. So, like, a lot of the records are like that, where, like, lyrically and, and song content-wise, they're, um, you know, they're just about difficult or uncomfortable situations and weird places to be um, in life. Um, but the music is, like, we try to have a lot of fun with the music and make it just sort of, you know, high energy and, and fun and whatnot. So it's like the Springsteen dancing in the dark thing, right? It's like when you listen to the song, it's like, one of the most terrible songs ever. Like, it's so depressing and like, whoa, this is really heavy, but like, it's... You can dance to it. You can dance to it, right. right. The Carlton to it, yeah. And yeah. So, <laughs> that's and so literally that's, fact. That, yeah. That's where the Carlton came from. And, and, that's, and that's sort of where we, that's sort of where we were for the, for the whole album, was like, let's go through the experience of what, what making it was, um, going into lots of crazy situations and being really uncomfortable and, and not having a great time all the time in life, but... Being okay with that, accepting it, making something good out of it, having fun, and then moving forward, you know? And that's what the process was for us, and I think that's what the album represents. So it's um, it's done. It's done. Comes out. Fantastic, so, man. Well, that's yeah. super exciting. Uh, can't wait to hear it. Uh, by the time that, that this drops, um, 
it'll be out. So we'll put a link down below. Please subscribe, like, hit your notifications, follow Arizona on the social medias. We'll put those links as well. And uh, yeah, um, comment, comment your favorite song from the album that's out now.